Hello everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video. This is going to be a short video about a new feature release with respect to Amazon Text Track service. So as we know that Amazon Text Track is a machine learning service that automatically extract printed text, handwriting and data from any document or image. But now with this new feature, Amazon Text Track provides you the capability to detect handwritten signatures, e-signatures and initials on documents such as loan application forms checks, claim forms and so on. So signature capability is available as a feature type in the Analyze Document API. So as a part of this video, we will have a look at the demo available in the AWS console with the preloaded documents. So log in into the AWS management console and navigate to Amazon Text Track. And once you are there, click on Analyze Document under Demos from the left panel. And here we will be able to see some preloaded documents by AWS itself. And then we will have a look at the feature that is signature detection. Now here on this screen, you can see two sections. Uh, one on the left is a document and one on the right is the extracted information of the document. And in one of my previous video, I have already taken you through this screen in depth. So if you want to refer to that video, then I have posted the link of that in the video description. So quickly moving on. So here we have the paste up document and here if we scroll down, then we can see here we have the signature. Okay, and on the right side here we have a new option that is signatures. So if we click on that, so here we should be able to see the signature that is available as a part of this document. Now here uh, within signature summary, we have number of pages. That means how many number of pages the document have and how many number of signatures has been detected. So here we have a document of one page and one signature is detected. And if we click on this, then it will highlight the signature that has been identified as a part of this document. So here it will also uh, show us the page number and the confidence score. So it's 81% and here is the signature. Now let's have a look at a few more documents. So here from choose a sample document, we can click on this drop down and let's select form 1005. Now this is a document called request for verification of employee. Let's see if we have a signature. So here we can see there are two signatures as of now. And if we scroll down, then here we have the third signature as well. Now here, if we click on signatures in the right panel, then here we can see all the three signatures has been detected and identified from this document with the confidence score. So here we have the signature one. If I click on that, then it will highlight whichever the first signature it is representing with the confidence score that is 42% and the pages in the document is one. So that's why it's showing page number as one and similarly signature two and signature three. Now let's quickly try it out with the custom document that I have. So here I have this form.pdf. It's nothing but the combination of a two document, right? So this is a two page document that I'm uploading. And here, as soon as I drag and drop that document, it asks me to choose the data output. So here as a data output, I will check signature detection and click on apply configuration. Now here, as you can see, uh, here we have a two page document. That's why it's showing page one of two. So here the document has been loaded successfully. Now, if we click on signatures, then it says that it has identified three signatures and the number of pages in the document is two and total signatures detected is three. Here it has detected one signature on page one. So if I click on that, then here, as you can see, it says signature Smith John M. Okay, that is with the 63% confidence score and it's on page one. Okay, let's click on signature two. So here in the second page of this document, it identified John Smith as signature on page number two with 15% of confidence score. And then it also identified the thank you text as signature. Okay, so this thank you text is being considered as the signature three on page number two with 11% of confidence score. So what I think is that, of course, we need to make our decision based on the confidence score that it has, that whether it is a signature or not. But I do see that the identified text as signature is incorrect. So here Amazon Text Track will detect the signature within the document and as a part of the response, it will provide the confidence score along with the bounding box information. So if we look at the JSON response, right? So here I have the JSON response for signatures, right? then you will be able to see a new block type that is signature. So if I search for block type colon signature, 
then this is the new block type that you should be able to see if you are recognizing or if you want to extract the signature okay so you need to look for block type signature and here within that block you will see the confidence score and the bounding box information for that particular signature okay so this is how the response looks like so this is how you can detect the signature as well along with other information like raw text table information or key value pairs with amazon text track now one of the potential use cases could be to extract and do signature matching or verification of the customer given that you already have the signature information of the customer in the database so guys apart from this if you want me to do tutorial video on same with end-to-end -end workflow where it will leverage lambda functions and apis for example then please let me know in the comment section also if you want to learn more about amazon tax track along with the hands-on implementation then you can go through my tutorial series as you can see on my screen that is amazon tax track tutorial and I have pasted the link in the video description. So if you want, then you can go through it, right? And last but not least, if you are new to this channel or if you have not already subscribed to my channel, then please do. And also don't miss to like and sharing this video. Stay tuned for such videos and I will see you in the next video.